welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video so someone made a comment on my last video that i did about doing a video to walk around of simple jobs changing light bulbs placing mirror backs simple things like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to walk around this this is a 2017 daf cf85 euro 6 we're going to walk around and then we're going to go through some simple defects that you as drivers or someone who's just getting into it could learn how to do so we'll start we'll work at the front here and we'll work around so the first job we're going to do i'll show you how to do is a headlight ball so hope you enjoyed the video if you could like and comment i'd appreciate it and if you want to even um subscribe even better so let's get cracking and now uh, let's show you the first job so first little job now i'll give a little tip to people when you do these, don't do them with a gun and don't do them with a because I went for MIT the other day and couldn't get the cap off. So, these are, I think they're T30, a T30. All we're going to do is... First cap, so I'm going to pull this forward. So this cap here, I'm going to take off and then I'll show you the inside. So there's our bulb, two screws here. All we're doing is twist the bulb like that, and then we we'll replace our bulb. So that part of the bulb goes at the bottom. Because if not, you won't be able to get it in. See that lip there? It's got to go at the bottom in that little gap. And then we'll put a new one in. Nice and simple. Line it up. And then, no, it's not lined up. Twist it back in. Cap back on. Cover back on. Next simple job, how to change a wiper blade. When I was an apprentice, these were a pain in the ass. But, little screwdriver in there, like that. I'm doing this one handed, so bear with me. So, get that, and then we'll just wiggle a bit off, like that. This is simple as that. So, when you put the new one on, you want it like that. So you're gonna push it over like so and then there's a little gap this side just there on the clip push it up through the gap wiggle it back round and lock it in like that nice and easy let's talk fuses shut this door so fuses all we do with the fuse box is pull it up nice and simple as that so let's talk through some fuses let's put some lights on shall we that hasn't really made any difference so common fuses let's go side lights first happens side lights on these uh if i remember rightly that one and that one. They're your two side light ones, which are um, there and 
their side light ones. Check them if you plug in and you have a, it blows, it can sometimes blow the front and then a top marker on one side and then it's weird. But check them fuses, they're common for these. Um, another common fuse is these ignition relays. Normally that one is pretty common. If you normally get, I had it before, we have loads of different warnings on the dash. Um, it could be um, vehicle control malfunction, EBS, stability control, all that kind of malarkey. And then you'll get these relays here are uh, pretty common. So check them. They're a common relay. I think of other relays, we, fuses we might use. ABS ones. Um, one here. One here. Where's the other ones? Um, there's ABS ones here as well. Check them. Always check your fuses before anything. Any job, electrically, check fuses. Because you never know. Uh, we've had uh, our blue one go here. Blown. Um, all the diagnostic work and then found out it was a fuse. So there's some common ones. Um, but yeah, light ones, pretty common. It's always one definitely want to check. And these ignition relays, like I mentioned, are very common. So do check them as well. So I'm going to talk about, someone mentioned about how some of the connectors come off. So I'm just going to go with this one because this is quite a common connector. Um, the oil pressure sensor is a twist one. You'll see that, but this one, for example, I'll show you how this one comes apart. So, get yourself a little small electrical screwdriver or something like that, and all you do is just literally, most of the time it's got dust and shit. And I normally just get, you can get um, some little pliers or something like that, and all you do is just pull it off, like so. Quite simple there. And then let's push it back on, push it all the way on, just move that torch, push it back on, and then push back in like so. Let's talk mirrors now. Oh, easy. So, little screwdriver in there. Gently pry it. We won't break the clips, I promise you. And then, literally, ping it off like that. So, let's talk wires. We've got, so wires, these are the main wires into it. Um, you've got these wires here. So, I can't remember which order they are. So, one's left, right. So, that way, in and out and one of these is up and down. So if you get them mixed up, when you press the side, it will go up. When you press the other side, it will go down, vice versa. So don't get them mixed up. Always take a picture of everything. Wires and connectors. This is the heater element of the screen. Uh, as you see, it goes through there. And there's like a plug on the other side of that glass. Now, I would like to show you how to do the glass. Put them on, but if I'm honest with you, I ain't good at doing them. They're a pain in the ass, and I hate doing them. Half the time, I'll fit a mirror. Uh, but the glasses, basically, I'll try to describe to you. So the only way to describe the mirror is, there's like a ball inside, and then the glass has to, there's a ball with like a flat plate behind it, with like little slots out of it, like that. And then basically that mirror, line it up, push it over into the slots, so where your slots are on the back of the mirror, it slides in until it's flat, so it locks itself in. It's hard to explain, but if you look at it, you'll actually see what I'm on about. But I'm, I'm shit at doing them, to be honest with you. I hate doing them. Half the time, I'll just replace the mirror. We're not all good at everything, but yeah. It's one thing I'm not good at, is doing mirrors. So now we're moving to back. Yes, I know you can hear uh, things leaking out of here. So, I think it's leaking out of there. Out there, I'll sort that in a minute. So, air lines, nice and simple here. Um, 22 mil nut. Now, don't, this is, it makes, people have made a mistake before, putting your span on there, yanking it over, and then what you do is you twist this at the back here, and then when you twist that, you break the pipe. 
and then you got a pain so it's not worth it just you can get a 24 mil on there like that hold that and then undo it there or sometimes i'll get them on there or on the back of the actual union just get a set of margarets or whatever but do something to secure it before you take this off so now airline ends same 21 mil um with ours we have this connector here and then we have an adapter so an adapter that goes in here i tape it up with um ptfe tape tape it up screw it in ptfe tape the other end so we get no leaks and then that at this part of the airline then screws onto this union bit here i'll maybe make one up in a minute and i'll show you quickly but they're pretty simple um remember about these suzy socks bloody good idea these suzy socks so we've done headlight we've done wipers we've done fuses we've done mirrors we've done airlines let's see what else that might be handy to pick for people oil checking oil um cab pump over that way it's labeled here so that wants to be over track the cab over this side of the engine here about there you'll see yellow dipstick easy pull it out check the oil there people can take it on a dash but i wouldn't believe that thing on the dash because from my experience they're never normally that right the milk ones are to be fair the actual ones are normally pretty spot on um but i would personally manually check it if you can so just a quick one while i'm thinking here if you have one with flat batteries and you have another truck but you don't have truck leads a lot of trucks these days will have anderson leads now people are going to buck out say shouldn't be doing that but this is where we do it we get Anderson lead here to another Anderson lead on another truck, plug it in, most of the time you'll get a jump started. So it's another quick way of doing it. Um, if you get stick, you know, some people don't have actual jump leads, but a lot of people will have Anderson leads that we'll use for trailer, towel lifts and everything like that. So there's a good point there for jump starting a vehicle if you need to. Just a quick one as well. Someone asked about removing headlights. So if I remember rightly, two screws out here um, and then there's like you won't be able to see them but there's like rubber mounts on here so two screws out and I think you should be able to just pull it out uh, and then there's a ring of bolts for the headlight the grill there is one there one there uh, one two three and then the same the other side when you pull this up one there one the other side um, and I think that's pretty much it. You have to undo uh, this bit here. You have to undo bits on there. But pretty simple. Just to grin up. Some things to watch out for on these. We've had quite a lot of lately. Yeah. Um, coolant caps, look out for them, the rubber seals on them, heater control valves, done a few, a fair few of these, if you get a heater, let alone stand hot and everything, 70%, 80% of the time these are what the problem are, they've got these connectors on them, so you, you'll take three pipes off, T30 screw here, and then there's a plug on the back there, just literally get your little screw drawn, like I showed you on that way, pull it down, and then pull it off, so pretty easy there, um, Told you about the pollen filters. Pull the pollen filter out. Four screws, and then they're behind there. So nice, simple, easy stuff. You know, not too complicated. Just stuff to help people. You know, it might be their own mechanics or whatever. Um, filling up with oil here, you can. But if you start filling it quick, it will just come straight out the top. Half time, I just wouldn't bother with it. It, it literally isn't worth it. Removing mirror, uh, mirror, wiper arms. Thirty mil undo it um, I, I tend to pull the wiper off the screen and then wiggle it and it normally comes off half time but we've got new ones on these not on this one exactly but on some new ones they're like flat ones and they're really really good individual jets along so yeah very good ones they are so obviously hopefully you haven't been too bored and unsubscribed and left the channel um, but I just thought I'd do a little video, someone asked about doing the video, so I thought it was a good idea just to go around some tips and tricks and things to do with changing things, you know, if you're your own driver, got your own truck, or whether you're 
new to DAFs and anything like that, it's always handy to have these sort of videos to be able to help you along the process of uh, carrying out repairs and, and everything like that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll try and get out as much as I can. It's been difficult, but I'll always try and do my best to get you a video out no matter what. So I might go live on, live on Sunday, Sunday evening-ish, about six o'clock. So if you are interested in that, drop a comment below and let me know. I'll go on, I'll go on um, live at six. We'll have a chat again, not with you still, and talk anything trucks and everything like that, and just in general. So, I hope you're all having a good week. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I hope I can catch you all in the next video.